All right, welcome to HWA Heartland Wrestling. I'm your host, Les Thatcher. Jim Cornette, unable to be with us this week. By me, doing the color throughout the first part of the show will be Brock Gusman, manager of the A-Squad. You'll see them on today's program, along with the Haas brothers. On our Hanging With segment, we'll be talking to HWA champion, Ray Steele. Right now, let's go to Haas for the introductions. Introducing first, from the carnation capital of the world, Representing WCW, Kiwi, and his opponent. And that music is bringing to the ring from San Antonio, Texas. Lance Cade. A lot of fans uh, think this young man is remember, uh, remind them of Barry Windham. We'll see here. Coming to the ring from San Antonio, Texas, Lance Cade. And before the bell rings, Kane with a flying elbow and Brock Guffin, we've got action. We definitely do have, Les, I got a question for you though. Why does Kiwi have his hair like that? You know, normally when the guys have, when have a hair condition like that, they try to comb it over. He wants to comb it straight up. I think he was frightened as a child, I'm not really sure. You know, the guy has a wild look. He's, he's a character, uh, no doubt about it, but he's a very lethal competitor in that ring. Most definitely, Lance Cade has definitely got to watch out for him. Oh. WCW oh, is trying to tighten their stranglehold on the HWA. Thus far, only one champion, that being Jamie Noble, wrestling the uh, cruiserweight title away from Matt Stryker a couple weeks ago. Right now, Kiwi in charge offensively on young Lance Cade. He's definitely in charge. Lance Cade, like you said, an up-and-comer, one of the youngest guys that has a developmental contract. Absolutely, yes. And, of course, his first mentor was Shawn Michaels. So you can't learn from a uh, much better performer than HBK. Ray Ramsey telling Kiwi to back off, but... Uh, Angry Allen staying right on top of Cade here. And of course, later on in the program, as we mentioned, we'll be seeing the A-Squad in six-man tag team action. The Haas brothers in uh, tag team action. And O.G. Ekpo of the Island Boys in a single competition. There you go. Oh, oh. Cade laying the chops in. Loops that right hand in. Kiwi tears at the eyes. The fans chatting for Lance Cade. Kiwi backs him into that corner. Works on that midsection, trying to take the wind away from him. And Guffman, we've got quite a competition. Well, quite a competition right now. Lance Cade needs to, needs to actually just suck it up and try to get dig deep for something. Otherwise, Kiwi's going to have an easy victory in this one. But, of course, an easy victory because he jumped him at the start before Lance was ready to go. Good observation. Cade went for the sleeper. Kiwi dropped his way out of it. Stuns Cade momentarily. Misses the clothesline. Cade loops the right hand in. Arm whip, squee cross ring. <laughs> that Beautiful. flying leg whip. Cade throws those good looping right hands. He's very effective with them. Set up for the backdrop. Kiwi reads him, drops the elbow, misses. Both men hurting a little bit here. Let's see. Kiwi goes to the elbow a second time. Nobody home. Cade now could be in the driver's seat offensive. Let's see. Goes to shoot the right hand once too often. Kiwi back with a couple right hands of his own. Arm whips his man in. Under the clothesline is Cade. Flying elbow. Let's see if Cade can put him away here, Brock. This may be the opportunity Cade was looking for. As long as he doesn't make a mistake, he was making some mistakes early on there, letting Kiwi to get the advantage back. Oh, beautiful oh. backdrop. Yeah, took him high on the backdrop right now. Lance Cade in a dominating situation. He's going with that flying elbow. Whoa. Nailed it. Yes. That hair is not standing so straight now. Bulldog. Going to the top. Let's see if the big man, young man out of Texas can put him away with this move. Cade setting up. Here he goes. Big dime. Oh. And misses the leg. A little drop. bit too much. A little bit too much time, Wes. He he looked to the fans. Can't do that with no. a cagey veteran like Kiwi. Good observation on your part. Kiwi hooks him, and he gets the three count. Kiwi, your winner with a roll-up, assist with the trunks, and he is the winner. And